In our previous video, we did our player animations, doing our falls, our war drums, our slides, all in the sake of making our character look cooler. We'll do some more of that today, where by the end of this video, we'll have particle effects for when our player jumps and changes direction, kind of like a smoky dust cloud. So let's go. So to add a particle effect to our player, we're gonna right click on our player object in the hierarchy, go down to effects and then particle system. You can see instantly these white blobs coming out from our player. Next, I'm gonna set the material for our particle effect and I'll select sprites default. Now we have white squares instead of those glowy blobs, which suits our pixel game. You can change this to be whatever material you like to go with your game. Next, I'm gonna set the max particle size to be something smaller, like 0.2. Cool, I'm gonna collapse the renderer. Next, I'm gonna to go to shape. This is the shape in which your particles appear. So we want ours to be a box. I'm going to set the Y to be zero and the X to be 0.5. So it comes from a smaller range. Cool, we can close off shape. Now I'm gonna go up to the very top. I'll actually rename this while we're here. Call it something like Smoke FX. And so we can see our player, we can set the start size in the Smoke FX section to be 0.2. And then we'll move this down so it's down by his feet. I'm gonna do this in the position at the top. So I'm gonna set this to minus 0.5. So you can see it appears around his feet. We're gonna look at the start lifetime. So what this does, as it says in the tooltip, is when the particle dies, so how long does it last in our scene? So I'm gonna set this to something way smaller, like 0.5. Next, we want our simulation space to be world, and we don't want it to play on awake. You can see it's kind of stuck at his feet right now. It leaves a little trail, but we want it to go more like up and out as he goes. So it kind of fades away. This is like a little snake tail. So we'll go to velocity over lifetime. We tick this, then type minus 0.1 so you can see it kind of go trails out behind and then 0.1 on the y so it kind of goes along and then out and we also want this to be world to add some more particles we can go to emission and right over time we can change from 10 to be 30 you can add more or less depending on the kind of feel you want so now we have kind of a bunchy up snake tail rather than a straight line since we're emitting more particles next i'm going to add a color over lifetime so take that on and then if we click on this white box, click on the top right hand toggle. Now I'm gonna to set the alpha to zero. So it's gonna fade from white to transparent like this. And on the same kind of idea, I'm gonna do size over lifetime. Take this on and in this size drop down, if you click on it, you get given these default options. I'm gonna select the second to last one. So it goes from its full size down to nothing. So if we press play, you can see now we get a nice fade away of smoke. Cool, now back up the top, I'm gonna to set our duration to be 0.2. I'm gonna turn off looping and I'm gonna turn off play on awake. So now when it plays, it'll just be like a little puff of smoke rather than our long tail that continues. I'm also gonna change our start color to like a purpley pinky, just so it stands out in our scene. Cool, now, cause we turned off play on awake and turned off looping, this doesn't appear anymore. So we need to play it in our script. So open your player movement script by double clicking and at the top, we're gonna to wanna to add a public particle system and I'll call this smoke fx. I'm gonna copy our smoke fx variable. And then remember we said we want it whenever we jump and then whenever we change direction. So if we scroll down, we can basically use everywhere our animator sets the trigger to jump and be where we play our smoke effects. So we go smoke effects dot play. You can see now we're about to have some repeated code. We're gonna have smoke effects play and animation set trigger jump playing three times over. You don't really wanna repeat in your code. So what we can do is go down and write a new private void jump effects and then paste our code into here. Now instead of repeating these two lines, we can just call jump effects to replace them all. Now it looks much tidier. Now we also wanted to play our smoke effects when we change direction. We do something else when we change direction in our code currently, and that's when we flip. So if we scroll down, we have our code for flipping. So in here, we want to say smoke effects dot play. Because we can move in the air and we'll flip while facing in the air, we want to do this only when we're on the ground. So we'll say if rb.velocity.y equals zero, meaning we're not falling down, we'll copy our smoke effects dot play and play it in here. Cool, and that's it. So back in Unity, select your player. If I collapse these and go down to our player movement script, we have a slot for our particle system for smoke FX. We drag smoke FX into this, then press play. Now when we jump, we get a nice little particle smoke cloud. So let's try changing direction. Cool, very nice. And double jumping. We can make it so it only happens on the first jump, but I kind of like the cute spacey effect of him having a trail whenever he jumps. 
And that's it. Particle systems can be highly customized, so I suggest messing around with them and finding what you like best. A fun and easy way to add your own particles is the texture sheet animation. If we turn this on and go to sprites, you can select any sprite to be what emits from your particles. We can select something like these cute little love hearts. So you can see we've got little hearts emitting now. We could have small versions of ourselves popping out, which is kind of weird, but could be cool and trippy, right? But yeah, there's a lot of fun things you can do with this and there's no harm in trying. But that's it. We're going to get into some gameplay for the next video. So I'll see you then. Bye.